Hello sports fans, welcome to RVing with Luck. I'm Ralph Luck. For over two and a half years, I've lived full-time in my Class C RV along with my martial arts cat, Ninja. 99% of the time boondocking. Well, today was another warm day here in Northern Arizona. Got up to about 92. Now I had my generator on all day, well, since about noon, running the AC. I took a little nap and woke up about 6.15 and everything was off. I checked the gas gauge, said I had half tank in the RV, because the only other time it's quit on me is when I got down to about a quarter of a tank. It's supposed to have that automatic safety shut off. So, I got out, started the generator, it ran for about 10 seconds and stopped. I checked it, it's got oil, but it was very, very hot. So I'm hoping it was a heat factor. I don't know, but I've also ran into an unusual problem I haven't ran into before, is like I said, I'm at half a tank. I don't like to be getting that low, and I know the next couple days are gonna cause the generator run like eight hours a day. That's about four gallons of gas a day. So I put in a little bit, couple of gallons of gas I had here at camp in the RV, and now I'm driving with two fuel cans, a five and a two gallon, uh, five minutes away to the gas station to get some gas to pour it in the RV just to make sure it's got plenty of gas. I don't want it to even get dipping down close to that quarter of a tank. So we'll see. That's why I'm a little sweaty. Been outside messing with the generator, putting in gas. And a quick five minute drive one way and we're here. Gotta love having to put five gallons of gas in my front passenger seat. Just gotta drive slow like I did before with it. No bumps, cause it's got no cap. But there's no room in the trunk. So I ended up buying a new two gallon gas can there at the Chevron. It's like 25 bucks. Ridiculously expensive, but the two gallon can I have is such a pain to pour out. It's got this whole green deal, no fumes coming out. It's a pain. So what I've been doing is when I empty my buddy's five gallon tank of gas into the RV, I use that obnoxious two gallon to pour into the five gallon and then pour it in the RV. So I saw this uh, better one for two gallons and got it. It's okay, it's small. They That one actually fits in my trunk. Uh, so I poured in seven gallons of gas. The RV gas needle did move up a little bit so I could see it's not stuck, it's working and I started the generator and it fired right up. So I'm gonna call this a one-off fluke that maybe it just got extremely hot and shut down for a minute. And let's hope it doesn't happen because the next three days are still gonna be in the 90s until we finally drop into the mid and low 80s. Thank goodness, three days to go. Wish me luck. So yeah, here's my bedroom window. There's my pillow. I look out it and oh, I'm just chilling in bed, but I thought I'd let you know what the hours before actual bedtime look like. So I turn on this light over here. Yes, the place is a mess. I need to put her food away. But I'll come out here to the open screen door. I don't see Ninja. I'll let her know I'm here. But then I look up at the time. Let's see. 9.30? Yeah. She won't even be until 10.30 to maybe eat. And then 12.30 by the time it's maybe bedtime for her. Um, burnable trash, non-burnable trash. Both are full. And uh, need some more. Little, well, she's got food, but. Depending on when she comes in, I may or not may not give her more because she's got dried food and her treat she still hasn't eaten. But that's what I do. Every time I get up to go to the bathroom or something, I see if Ninja's out there and wants to come in. And if she doesn't, then back to watch the TV. So pretty much a chill day, I guess. Um, the good news is, like I said, the generator seems to be running fine. 
Um, we're scheduled to have one more day in the 90s tomorrow, and then it drops to like mid and low 80s. So I can't wait for that. Um, hopefully one last day with the generator and AC on, and then it'll be cool sailing from here. Um, at least shows for the next 10 days ahead. So thanks for watching. If you enjoy this, please smash that thumbs up button. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. And if you are subscribed, double check that you have all notifications checked because magically sometimes that comes undone. Uh, from Ninja and I, I bid you adieu. Be positive, be nice, be active.